You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Psalm 72. And we'll be reading from the New English Translation. For Solomon. O God, grant the king the ability to make just decisions. Grant the king's son the ability to make fair decisions. Then he will judge your people fairly, and your oppressed ones equitably. The mountains will bring news of peace to the people, and the hills will announce justice. He will defend the oppressed among the people. He will deliver the children of the poor and crush the oppressor. People will fear you as long as the sun and moon remain in the sky for generation after generation. He will descend like rain on the mown grass, like showers that drench the earth. During his days the godly will flourish. Peace will prevail as long as the moon remains in the sky. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the Euphrates River to the ends of the earth. Before him the coastlands will bow down, and his enemies will lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the coastlands will offer gifts. The kings of Sheba and Seba will bring tribute. All kings will bow down to him. All nations will serve him. For he will rescue the needy when they cry out for help, and the oppressed who have no defender. He will take pity on the poor and needy. The lives of the needy he will save. From harm and violence he will defend them. He will value their lives. May he live. May they offer him gold from Sheba. May they continually pray for him. May they pronounce blessings on him all day long. May there be an abundance of grain in the earth. On the tops of the mountains may it sway. May its fruit trees flourish like the forests of Lebanon. May its crops be as abundant as the grass of the earth. May his fame endure. May his dynasty last as long as the sun remains in the sky. May they use his name when they formulate their blessings. May all nations consider him to be favored by God. The Lord God, the God of Israel, deserves praise. He alone accomplishes amazing things. His glorious name deserves praise forevermore. May his majestic splendor fill the whole earth. We agree. We agree. This collection of the prayers of David, son of Jesse, ends here. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege of being able to look at it together today. And we thank you, Lord, that as we look at this portion of Scripture and as David is praying for his son Solomon, we see this prayer ultimately answered in the person of your son, Jesus Christ, who is the ultimate king to come and reign on David's throne, who is the ultimate one who rescues the needy and shows compassion to the poor. And Lord, we're grateful to be the beneficiaries of the love and mercy and grace of your son, Jesus Christ, who is our ultimate king and who is the one that all nations will ultimately bow down to. So we're grateful, Lord, for a foretaste of the fulfillment of these promises that we see in this prayer from this psalm. And we're grateful to be rescued and redeemed by your son, Jesus Christ, and part of his kingdom forever. We love you, Lord. We're grateful for all of these blessings, and we're grateful for your presence with us today. And we commit ourselves to your care and pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. For more resources to help you in your walk with Christ, please visit us online at DesireJesus.com.